Hello guys! I'm Sarah Nakalyar from BS Ed Major in English. Now I'm gonna share with you about the beauty of Upper Asian literature. Now let us proceed the meaning of the literature. What is the meaning of literature? Literature, the class of writing distinguished for beauty of style or expression as poetry, essay, or history, in distinction from scientific theatricis and words which contain positive knowledge in both litera. Literature, the occupation, profession, or business of doing literary works. Broadly is any collection of written work, but it also used more narrow, narrowly for writings specifically considered to be an art form, especially prose, fiction, drama, and poetry. In recent centuries, the definition has expanded to include oral literature, much of which has been transcribed. Now, what is an Afro-Asian literature? Afro-Asian literature, it is an term for writing written by people from mixed African, Arab, ethnicity, or Afro-Asian ethnicity. It mirrors not only the custom and tradition of African and Asian countries, but also their philosophy of life which, on the whole, are deeply and predominantly contemplative and hungrily sweet. Generally, liter literary works of Upper Asian tells people about the unique struggles and successes of Afro Asian people. And now I am going to introduce about the literary masterpiece from African to Asian countries. Let us proceed. There are a lot of literary masterpieces, but I will give you four literary masterpieces in Afro Asian literature. First, A Country Boy Quits School. The author is Lao Shang. Lao Shang, 1899-1966, his pen name is Lao She, as, as a novelist, was born in Peking, now Beijing. He has been called as one of China's best modern writers. The prolific output of this humorist, patriot, and realist also included poetry, several volumes of short stories, many of which contain humor and feature the townspeople of Beijing and many places. The highlight of this story is all about a poor Chinese family, which is the boy at the age of 6 years old. He is working just to help the other basic needs of their family, but the family forced to send this boy to school following the city ordinance or else the adult in the family will go to the jail. Boy in studies, he frequently reads the books at the top of his lungs, and it brings discomfort to the ears of every family member. This incident always results to chaos and misunderstanding, so that one day the father decided that this book will never be read again by the boy. He chose to, to be in jail then destroying the family continues sending a boy to the school. The second literary masterpiece is The Spider Thread, the author Norosuke Akutagawa in 1892-1927. Norosuke Akutagawa, he is a Japanese author. Sometimes he is called the father of the Japanese short story. Sadly, he ended his life at age of 35, so he was very young when he died. He killed himself or as we say, he committed suicide. He was one of the most important Japanese writers in the story of the language, and Ronosuke believed that literature could bring together different cultures. The highlight of this story is all about the God and versus man. Among the groups of bad people in hell, there was man called Kandata. Kandata had been a very evil man. 
He had killed people, he stolen from people, and even burned houses with people in them. He was truly an enemy of all good people. But once in his life, he had done something good, and Buddha remembered this. Kandata saw a spider, and he raised his foot to kill it, but he stuck, so let the spider live. And Buddha looked down into hell, he thought of how Kandata had said the spider, and when people saw the spider trap, they are start to climb, and because of Kandata greedy, he fall down and down. Buddha gave Kandata a chance to get out in hell, but Kandata showed that he was a truly bad person. And third literary masterpiece is The Cranes. The author is Wang Sun Won. Wang Sun Won is a Korean short story writer, novelist, and a poet. He is born on March 26, 1915 at Taedong, North Korea, and he died on September 14, 2000 at Seoul, South Korea. And the last one, the fourth literary masterpiece is the Sher La Shalom in English, A Song to Peace by Jacob Young Kelly Rothblut. Jacob Young Kelly Rothblut, he is born in 1945 at Haifa Mandatory, Palestine. He is a songwriter, singer, composer, and journalist. The genre is pop, rock, and pop. Both in its lyrics and its music, Shirla Shalom was influenced by the Anglo-American anti-war folk rock songs of the 1960s. The song expresses a yearning for peace. It mourns comrades who have fallen in battle and claim to speak for the Poland. By September 1993, when Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization signed their peace agreement, a song of peace had become an anthem. Always remember the beauty of Afro-Asian literature. Thank you for watching! Bye!